Hi, Katie here with your Galco TV industry update. This week, we're talking about harvesting energy from evaporation, ABB's buying GE's industrial solutions division, and FLIR's new FLIR One Pro thermal imaging camera for your smartphone. A biophysicist at Columbia University has created a model that makes it possible to harvest energy from simple water evaporation. And if we can make it work at a large scale, the potential results are tremendous. Harvesting evaporation from existing lakes and reservoirs in the U.S., excluding the Great Lakes, can potentially generate as many as 325 gigawatts of energy. That is as much as 70% of the total amount of electrical energy generated in the U.S. in 2015. One particular advantage of evaporation energy is that it is not as dependent on the weather as energy sources such as solar or wind. Though it is also not likely that we would be able to use the water from every lake, and it is possible that this method may impact freshwater resources. The evaporation engine was first developed in 2015 at Columbia University Research Paper. It works by attaching tiny spores to plastic strips, which expand as they collect water and contract as that water evaporates. This tiny evaporation engine model works by sitting on the surface of water. As water from the surface enters the device, it changes the shape of the spores, which creates electricity. The spores are also connected to shutters that control how much the water evaporates, allowing you to control how much energy is generated and even store and release it over time to create continuous power. This is not the team's first experiment with evaporation engines. They have also created a mill with spores in it in a half humid and half dry environment. Attaching this mill to tiny wheels allows it to power the wheels using evaporation. There is still a lot of experimenting to be done before this can be considered a serious form of energy generation, but these early proof of concepts are promising. ABB and GE have announced that ABB will be acquiring GE's Industrial Solutions Division in a $2.6 billion purchase. This acquisition will strengthen ABB's number two global position in electrification and expand ABB's access to the North American market through deep customer relationships, large installed base, and extensive distribution networks along with their existing customer relationships in more than 100 countries. As part of this transaction and overall value creation, ABB and GE have also agreed to establish a long-term strategic supply relationship for GE Industrial Solution products and ABB products that GE sources today. GE Industrial Solutions will be integrated into ABB's Electrification Products EP division, resulting in a unique global portfolio and very comprehensive offering for North American and global customers. They will benefit from ABB's innovative technologies and the ABB Ability Digital offering coupled with GE Industrial Solutions, complementary solutions and market access. Included in the acquisition is a long-term right to use the GE brand. ABB will retain the GE Industrial Solutions management team and build upon its experienced sales force. FLIR's new FLIR One Pro is a thermal imaging camera attachment available for iOS and Android devices. Its vivid IR thermal imaging processing technology allows you to see more details than ever before. Whether you're inspecting electrical panels, looking for HVAC problems, finding water damage, or numerous other troubleshooting tasks. It can assist you in locating heat differences that can be indicators of missing, damaged, or inadequate insulation, building envelope air leaks, and moisture intrusion or damage. 
It is also useful for finding sources of energy loss, destructive water damage, and structural issues. Additionally, this product is useful for getting accurate non-contact temperature measurement while staying away from energized equipment, helping you safely and accurately diagnose issues. Please note that the Android version of this camera uses the USB Type-C found on newer Android phones, so you should double check for compatibility. Clear plans to offer a version with the older micro USB style connector or you can use a type C to micro USB adapter. That is it for this week's industry update. Tune in next week for more of the latest news in electronics, automation and robotics.